it's interesting. A lot of people don't realize the top loop on his head is meant to put a string on him, let him glide down and not key man on his butt. Hey, toy fans. So I'm here with a, another action figure review. I'm pushing back against that city hunter predator. I know he keeps trying to sneak into my channel. I caught him now twice at the end of my, my uh, videos now in different colors. I don't know what in the world he's doing, but I'm pushing him away. Instead, I'm coming to you with some Motu madness. Now I'm bringing this one up because I've had this one in a box ready to review for it seems like forever now. I was lucky to find him and I figured, you know, I need to break him down, okay? But this comes on the eve of some really wonderful news that All Mac Toys is partnering with Mattel to create a Origins version of Sunman. Uh, I went ahead and pre-ordered two out of my geek box, but the actual Mattel Creations uh, link drops in, I think like a day or so. So if you're wanting to get on there and maybe check it out, see if you can get it. It's on my, uh, it's actually Mattel Creations and you can find Sun Mare there. So I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to start seeing maybe him and some other diverse characters show up on toy shelves for the kids now. Because remember, the collectors we're covered, now we need the kids covered, okay? So with that, out of the Origins uh, version toys, I did pick up Trap Jaw. Now, I've had him for a while, and if you follow my Instagram, uh, you'll know I, I got him, I think, uh, Manny Faces and Scareglow at the same time. And it was weird because in my area, we don't get these very often. So I was really, really kind of lucky to find them. Now, I absolutely adore Trap Jaw. So I fear what we'll do today, we'll break down the packaging, we'll look at the whole thing, we'll look at the figure itself. There's a couple of things I'm kind of concerned about with some sculpting. And then we'll compare him to others down the road because I've got him in Vintage, got him in Classics, got him in 2000X, and I got him in Loyal Subjects. So we'll kind of take a look at him through the ages and see how this one compares to the others. Uh, before we get into that review, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe now. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button down below. Let YouTube know that you like what I'm making and be sure to hit that bell for notifications. That way you are alerted to anything I create. All right, let's get into it. All right, now this is your Masters Universe Origins trap doll. One of the things I wanted to say about Origins is that, you know, you've got this new 420 right here up at the top of the card. So that's how you know it's Origins. But other than that, they have kept almost every aspect of the card like the original. So you've got Masters Universe up here. Uh, we see that it's trap jaw, evil and armed for combat. And I think back in the day, I want to say I think it used to say evil master of, of armed combat, but now they've changed it just a little bit. We also get this nice little starring over here. It says modern posing retro play. So this is really meant to harken back to the old days of when, you know, we were young and we had these toys because even the bubble and the indention is similar to what we had as a kid. Now, each one comes in that clear bubble. And of course you get your uh, trap jaw here and his weapons and stuff are in in the bubble behind him packed in like a little baggie and then we do get this mini comic now back in the day we used to get say a few different mini comics out of a wave where you know like one character would have one some a specific one someone to have something different maybe a couple of them shared the same thing but in these so far there's only i think two or three comics this double trouble is a part of the second wave the other one was the Night of the Beast, I believe. Go into the back of the card. Now in the back of the card, we get some nice card art here, kind of going back to when we were kids, where we see Trap Jaw swinging in on that rope. And oh look, hey, he's got his hand holding the rope on the other end. Of course, He-Man with his battle ax and Ram Man with his ax, you know, kind of trying to chop at him. Now, this is something that we used to get when we were kids, and I'm glad to see that it's come back. It does have this starring here. It says, includes mini comic. And up here, we get a little blurb about what it, what he is. He says, cybernet criminal can literally arm himself with any weapon he needs for battle. So that's pretty cool. We get a little blurb here. Modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters Universe action figures. 
Masters Universe Origins gives you the power to pose Eternia's greatest warriors as retro style figures or in a new action packed battle positions. So here we get some, some things about Trap Jaw. We can open and close his jaw and we can plug laser gun, hook, or pinchers into his arm. And then of course we get some cross sell here. Now out of these, my kiddo has gotten Scare Glow and I'll have that review coming up more towards a Halloween day. Trap Jaw, Skeletor, He-Man, Manny Faces, and Orca. And Manny Faces I have as well and I'll be doing a review down the road. Now that's the card. And as much as I like them on the card, and there's a part of me that kind of wants to keep them there, I really want to play on my toy. And the card isn't going to tell us anything else about this action figure. We need to get off and get to playing. All right, and this is the mighty villainous trap jaw outside a package. And I have to admit, he is bright, he is colorful, and he is what you would think of as being a part of the Masters Universe Origins line. He really fits in. He looks a part of Masters. It's a nice retro feel to him. A little bit brighter than what we had earlier when we were kids, and that's okay. Now, he normally, they normally will boast 16 points of articulation. However, you get 17 with that jaw and then of course each one comes with a little mini comic and out of this mini comic we got double trouble here and out of this mini comic of course we get trap jaw we get uh let's see trap jaw scare glow skeletor orco oh wow all sorts of characters oh even manny faces makes an appearance so we get a lot of the characters that are in this wave in the mini comics. So it really harkens back to what we were getting way back in the day. I'm digging it. Now let's take a look at Trap Jaw. Some cool things about them this time is that they do have knee articulation, a little bit of leg articulation, that calf rotation, a little bit of rotation in the knee as well. And of course, peggable legs. So this time you got legs that move. Waist that does move. A lot more movement in the arms. Though I have to admit, so far, when I was trying to bend that hand, my hand keeps popping out. So the way that they have, oh, the way that they have uh, this wrist part sculpted, it's really hard to move his hand. Of course, you got ball jointing at the neck and you get, you know, some jointing here. The one cool thing I like about this, da, 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 unlike the vintage, we get, oh, an elbow bend. Of course, we could still turn the hook and everything because it's just a peggable item. But we get some rotation in the elbow. And then, of course, we have that pivot in the elbow as well. One thing to note, back in the day, we used to be able to take this part off when we take the arm off. And these still have it to where they're peggable and you could take the arms off. However, this time they opted instead of using the buck body they opted on sculpting and actually tooling this part onto the body. So it's not a separate piece. And it could be something as simple as they couldn't get it to work or maybe they felt that this was a better way to go. But this is now specific only to trap jaws. So you're not gonna be able to pull this off and put it on say your masters of the WWE. Though I'd really like to be able to. Snap that back into place. There we go. Um, a couple other things. There is a little bit of gapping here, and I wonder if that's just to keep this from, you know, having issues. And it does have a little bit of pivot, though it does look a little weird when it does that, okay? Now, Trap Jaw does come with his many weapons. So you have his hook. You've got his laser cannon. And then you've got his claw. And this is kind of his infamous little claw there. And when a tool is not in use, he does come with this removable belt. Now, underneath the belt, it's just his red colored underwear. And this is kind of a standard um, uh, kind of crotch groin area. On his belt, much like the vintage, you have these little places here where you can hook his weapons that he's not using onto his belt. And of course he's got his skull and crossbones, much like a pirate. Let's compare him with other trap jaws that have come from other Masters Universe lines. 
Okay, and this is Trapjaw versus his previous incarnations from other lines. Obviously, we have our vintage Trapjaw here. And we can see, I mean, some of mine has been darkened because of time and, you know, heat damage, that sort of thing. But we can see where the resemblance to the new one is definitely setting into place. Of course, we got our 2000X version. Our 2000X was kind of going very more with a very realistic, wild, almost anime look to him. So it's vastly different than what we previously got with our vintage. And of course, our Masters Universe Classics, which is still probably one of my favorite versions of Trap Jaw to today, but it is truly a collector's item and it has all the details that we ever wanted and some really cool play features as far as being able to snap the weapons in and out and having movable parts in the weapons. Of course, we've got our loyal subjects that's taken more of an idea from the filmation version of Trap Jaw and then our origins. Now, the one thing to note with our origins, it is a lot brighter. The blue is very similar to the blue that we got on the body. However, the head and the greens are so much brighter than we've ever gotten before. The head feels more like a fluorescent pink or red, and the greens feel more like a fluorescent green. So it has kind of a 90s vibe to it instead of a early 80s vibe with a little bit darker color and bolder color. It is a lot brighter, and so it's definitely going to be one that's going to stand out within my collection. So just kind of an overview of him. Some good and some bad. I, I like that he's brighter. I love the overall look of him. I think he's a lot of fun. Bads. I don't really like this being sculpted down. The ankles don't rock quite as much because of the sculpting here. The wrist doesn't turn up and down because of the sculpting here. And the head for mine doesn't really rock up and down too much because of the sculpting here. So there are some areas where he is hindered and he doesn't have quite the range of mobility that we'd want for him. I also have a few paint app areas where I've got a black spot here. Don't feel like I've got, you know, complete coloring in all places, but I'm okay with that. I think that having the added articulation in the arm awesome having the added articulation up here in the top great having the added articulation all over them it's pretty cool and even the update of the bright colors are nice now trap jaw is out there and is available for people to pick up now however because of distribution problems he has been kind of hard for some people to find so if you happen to go out looking for him good luck with the toy hunt this episode of Tay Ray Gun was sponsored by Marvin Dog Media. To learn more about Marvin Dog Media, visit www.marvindogmedia.com. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below to let YouTube know that you like what I'm making. And be sure to hit that bell notification so you get updates to future content.